we are back with part five of our Pokemon Yellow Legacy live stream. And today we are taking on chat. Hello. It's I'm nervous. Because today, chat, we are taking on Sabrina. Um She's good. She's she's got some she's got some cook going on. And I don't really know what to expect, genuinely. Um, so yeah, what's up? Welcome, uh, welcome back, every chat, everyone in the chat. We've got Charizard, we've got Marowak, we've got Pidgeot, Blastoise, Gengar. I've actually boxed not only Pikachu, but Ivysaur now too. Got the box. Hitmonlee is here. I don't think he's gonna last. So we've kind of got a team of five right now, five all-stars. Um, the team is actually very strong. We have a really good team, but, but, the first question is how will it do, and excuse me, how will it deal with some of these, some of these warm-up psychic types, I suppose you could say. So I said, just finished uh, one of the last stream and now you're here. That is incredible timing, so hello. What's up, everybody? How we doing today? Hello, chat. We're starting things off with a Venomoth. We threw a Venomoth in here uh, because Sabrina actually has a Venomoth in one game, and it felt really weird because it's kind of a Koga Pokemon, so didn't like didn't like that at all. Uh, you know, I like it as like a side trainer. You know, we've we've thrown some good Pokemon here at this gym because it is a significant gym, but but yeah. I'm uh, I'm actually surprised with how good Pidgeot's been. Um, it didn't really see a lot of changes other than like. 60 base power flying type wing attack. It really hasn't got a lot. Now, it, it's about to get wrecked, I'm sure. But sometimes the AI just is kind. Um, it's kind of at a weird point right now. So, we've been like streaming this. And as we stream it, we make changes. And so like, the, this version is like, almost now it feels like behind a little bit. So there's one thing that we've tried we've tried to add is uh, we've actually, we're experimenting with a better AI system. So that like, it, and, and it wouldn't, uh, maybe we will take agility actually. No. Like not for normal trainers, but we're experimenting with making the AI on gym leaders better. Um, and the verdict so far is that Brock is like too OP with, with rock throw. Um, and I feel like it's gonna make a lot of the trainers too good because we've balanced them for when the AI with this like not very smart AI. So now if we throw in a really smart AI, it's like okay, what's gonna happen? This is definitely gonna kill Pidgeot. So RIP to the homie. Um, speaking of homies, we have that one dude says, "What's up? Hello, sir. Welcome to the chat. Um, welcome everyone. Thanks for coming out, guys. It's, I've been having fun with the streaming. Like, um, yeah, I, I used to be a big streamer and uh, I've been real focused on on making videos, but I do like the vibe of the stream. Like, I just, I like popping in, seeing everyone, saying hi. Like, I don't know, to me, that's always really fun. Man, that's a cool sprite. Um, I'm not, like, genuinely, like, super, like, not super familiar with that sprite, but it looks really clean. Um, anyway, we got Marowak. We'll see how Marowak does. Yeah, strong AI on gym leaders is good. They're supposed to be some of the strongest tra trainers. Yeah, and the problem is, like, you know you're gonna get wrecked, but then they just use bad moves, so you get through. It feels like you didn't earn the win. That that's my biggest thing. Um, it's like I, I think difficulty is something that people sometimes don't get. Um, the purpose of difficulty is like to make it engaging. Like people sometimes think difficulty for difficulty's sake, um, but I think that's most applicable in a situation where you're just trying to make the game as viable to as many people as possible, you know? So, yeah, what's up, Justin? Hello, hello. Marowak's probably gonna get dusted here, but I just wanted to see what might happen. It might not even have Surf. Uh, actually, I don't think any Pokemon learns Surf via level up. So this is this is still gonna hurt, because it's Slowbro, and it's, uh, it's Marowak. <laughs> so, anyway, um, let, let's see what Charizard can do. Hey, it's a little late. But that one dude, hello. I also kind of wasn't paying attention and I hit, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, thanks, man. What's up? Hey, what's up, Weebra? Everyone say hi to Weebra. She's our editor. 
for the channel. Um, yeah, we got uh, we got the the border. It's like been slowly trying to make it just a little better. Um, and I realized like every day I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna stream, and then it's like, okay, like I didn't fix the thing I was trying to fix, and then it was just a progressive thing of like fixing stuff one second at a time. And then I finally just sat down and took like an hour. And uh, yeah, yeah, what's up, Arrow? Yeah, we got Fire Punch on Charizard. We got Kadavra coming up. Charizard is, is I, uh, dude, I, I hate to say it because I'm, I'm such a Charizard slanderer. And everyone, everyone knows it. Like I always talk shit. I'm like Charizard is ass. You can't tell me otherwise. But Charizard is so good in Gen One with Slash, man. Best, best Charizard. And there's Flamethrower, finally. Uh, Odd Talks in Gaming says, have you thought about putting Mankey on the totals do Dost Route 22 team? I'm assuming you mean Rival. Um, no, I don't think he needs it, really. I think I think I I don't think there's anything wrong with that team. In a situation where there's nothing wrong and it serves the exact purpose it's trying to, it's like, why change it, you know? I think that's, I think that's one thing I'll no I notice with, with people that want to make suggestions is, like, it's, you gotta get like, kind of like you. Ha you have to be like, um, sort of like disciplined with your decisions because you you get this ROM hack and you're like, okay, I got a hammer. If I see a nail, I'm I'm hitting it. You know, and it's like if I could change something, I'm changing it because change is cool. But that's not what this ROM hack is. You know what I mean? It's like no, we're no no. We're trying to keep it as similar as possible. We're trying to leave as many nails unhit as possible while making the structure, the making the house as structurally sound as possible, which is kind of like, feels like it's two things at odds, but sometimes the jank is what you want, you know? Uh, will Charmander learn smokescreen? I don't think so. I, I can see it, um, but I also, God, does it need to be more similar to Quilava? I, th I think I think it's sitting in a pretty good spot where it it is a re a really good payoff Pokemon. It's it's not good through the early game, but it it pays off and gives you amazingness. And we are in a loop now. Look at that. That's fun. So anyway, um, personally, I don't feel the need. But yeah, we actually did update Charizard stats. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about it. Because Charizard's attack, it's a special attack, it's really good in later games, and it's only 85. It's, I think it's got 10 something special attack. Oh, this isn't gonna hurt it at all. That was better than I thought. We'll go for it. Yeah, so, so Charizard gets a buff because it's 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 special its special attack rises. Um in future generations. So Ah, oh, dang it. Sleep is so overpowered. Sleep is so overpowered. How is my boy Blastoise supposed to do anything right now? Like, I wake up, I do get the surf off, because somehow I outspeed Haunter. Like, anyway, yeah. Uh, make the rival catch more as he progresses. Yes, we are going to be adding through it. Um, just not there. It, it just felt like it don't broke. If it's not broken, don't fix it kind of thing. 109 is special. Yeah, so we I, I've buffed Charizard's attack... Special attack, of course, to 95. Special total to 95. The problem is if you start doing any more than that, you're making it really bulky, and Charizard is not a bulky Pokemon. So it's in future games, it's got not 85 special, 109 a special attack. We've changed that to be 95 of both. It's about the most you can really do. Like, I think anything more than 95 special defense on Charizard is is getting a little wild. You're, you're getting into, like, really specially defensive territory as you hit 100. I feel like 100 is kind of like that. All right, it's good. <laughs> so, uh, when you speed up gameplay, what's the speed percentage of choice? What a niche question. Uh, I go... Let's see, it's 60 frames per second up to 300. So I do five times. Um, which is probably too much. I could probably get away with three, but I'm a weirdo, so here I am. <laughs> yeah. 
What a, what a what an interesting question. I've never seen anything like that before, but I love it. Ooh, that's not a good matchup. Yeah, we've just kind of put all the psychic Pokemon in this gym, as you can probably tell. Um, super curious. Like, what is, what does a Nightshade Nightshade Gengar do? Gengar Nightshade do to Starmie? Yeah, so Gengar is cracked, by the way. Oh, the miss. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Gengar is... Gengar is really good in this game. Like, I've had to nerf it twice now. Um, so we're not giving it Hypnosis to level 55. Um, because it's, like, one of the best Pokemon in the game now. And if you, it, 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 without sleep. <laughs> this shit is a plant. You are correct. Well, yes. Good job. Are there any text box in the items menu showing the name of? I don't know about that. Um, we haven't really talked about it. it. It definitely makes sense as a thing for a quality of life. Um, if, if, if it's doable, I feel like it would be of use. Dude, I think there's too many. Oh, the problem is there's two mediums here. So I think one of these mediums, okay, it does have a hypno. Okay, that's not too bad then. Cause I was like, man, I'm getting a little bit of like haunter fatigue here. One dude. Well, just wanted to say hi. I'm extremely sick. So I'll leave your stream. Back row and noise is nice later. Oh, leave your stream up. Aw, I'm sorry, one dude. Chat, can we get some love in the chat for one that for that one dude? Getting a little, you know. I get it. I there's a, there's an illness going around. I actually am kind of sick right now too. I was like, do I stream? Do I hit it? Do I do I, do I you know go do I go live? My girlfriend was like, do it. I want to watch TV. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, let's, let's let's get some love for that one dude. You know, it'd be like that. <laughs> so weird seeing people talk about your speed because I'm always on replay gang watching. That's funny. Um, yeah, I think there's too many haunters in gang. There's too many, too many ghosts in Sabrina's gym. I'm gonna say two haunters max. Ooh, people talking about Blaine in the chat. Just gonna have to wait and see what Blaine's got. What what what, what Blaine has cooked up. Wow! <laughs> All right, I think we have fought everyone, so it's time for Sabrina chat. Um, hardest gym leader in the game, maybe not anymore. Giovanni's really good now. Mr. Mime only gym. Yeah. <laughs> Will Charizard disobey the trainer until Blaine? That'd be funny, but uh, no. <laughs> give Blaine burn heal. Why would you give Blaine burn heal? I want you to think about the question and you just the, the suggestion you just made, and I want you to go tell your mom what you just said in this chat, and she's gonna be really disappointed with you, because that was was not the best comment. <laughs> L1011 Tristar. It's good to see you. It's been a little bit. Coming through with that 20 bomb, so we you know we got to see some hearts right now. Put the hearts in the chat. Says, speaking of nerfs, did you nerf Caterpie or is he still OP? Caterpie is still the best Pokemon in the game, Tristar. Don't worry. I got you, okay? I got you. Chat, let's see those hearts. <laughs> Good to see you again, man. What's up? We got Austin Franks has tweaked Champ R&B team. Pidgeot, Alakazam, Gyarados, Arcanine, Egg, Evolutions. Kind of. Can I talk about the champion team after this fight, Austin? Um, can can I can I give me a sec? Cause it's it's a bit of a chat. All right, we're gonna we're gonna lead Gengar to go for the one shot on Abra. This is a hard fight. 
Um, she, she leads with an Abra that only knows Psychic, and you're like, oh, that's not a big deal, until you remember that Abra has 105 special and 100 speed, so you're like, oh, this thing could one-shot a lot of, like, specially weak Pokemon. Um, it, it doesn't look that menacing, and in their base game, it only knew Flash. We gave it just Psychic. Fortunately, we can outspeed. Oh! Oh! I forgot about that. Nice. It's pretty cool. Okay, that went down pretty well. That went down pretty well. We got Hypno next. I'm not running Hypnosis right now because in our new build, Gengar doesn't get it till 55, so I'm just like pretending I don't have that. Yeah, that level 50 Abra was in her base game, so we just left it. Make AI decide what it's doing before we do. Yeah, pivot swap is nice. Argument, it's it's a it's 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 an aspect of this game, you know. You know what? This might be a Gengar sweep, and I'm gonna be sitting here like, oh, the Sabrina's so hard. Since I have this, you know, Gengar sweep, I mean, it's going pretty well so far. As I told you, Gengar is cracked. Gengar outspeeds. No, actually, it's a speed tie, but I think with my XP, yeah. I think Alakazam, with five levels and higher speed, I think Alakazam will outspeed Gengar. Gengar's 120 speed, I think. Oh. No, Gengar is 110 speed. I think Alakazam is 120. Honestly, a Gengar with with static speed still might. Yeah, yeah. There it is. That's that's. Uh... Well, it could take a hit. It land like hit back with a psychic. Oh, of course it crits. Okay, let's um let's run that one back. <laughs> so yeah, Gengar is really good. Um, Jesus Christ, Gengar is good. Um, is Blaine stronger than Sabrina? Definitely not. And I know that might be hard to believe after that performance. Um, Sabrina's really hard. And that just is showing you how good Gengar is. What a good counter Gengar is, too. Because it outspeeds everything. Are trade evos obtainable? Of course, Daryl Brown. Just like in Crystal Legacy, you got your big boys at 42, Machamp and Golem at uh, 38. Yeah. Don't worry, we would not miss that. Oh my god, dude. Who are you, Tristar? Bro, who are... Who... <laughs> who is this man? 100 bomb. Sorry, I was in Africa for a while. Bro. <laughs> you are cracked, dude. You are insane. What the hell? Chat. Chat. I need... I need to see every single one of you. You're lurking right now. I need you to go into your keyboard, into chat. Drop a heart. This man just dropped a 100 bomb. The first in channel history, actually, on top of that. Dude, <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy. I can't even, I can't even. <laughs> what the fuck, man? $100 to ask a question about Caterpie. At that. Where do you fall on the question of whether Caterpie was supposed to be... Ah, oh, damn it. That's a good question, too. Okay. Dude, I just, I just need to see the hearts. I need to see the love in the chat for this man right now. Show me. Yes, chat. Dude. Oh my god. You guys are gonna get to hear the song for the 100 bomb. I hate that it's delayed. I need to figure that out. But listen. Listen. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Um I guess I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for this the, the sack here on, on Pidgeot, but that's fine. Um Honestly, we're wrecking Sabrina right now. We have a very strong team, but we're kind of wrecking Sabrina. Um, if you know, you know.
any zombies fans here that used to be the old hundred bomb on my on my 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 big channel the smith plays Whew. so yeah that's 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 the hundred bomb and brandon mcgrath what's up my dude i will get to that but first i do need to answer this question um <laughs> okay so, where do you fall on, on the question of whether Caterpie... We beat Sabrina, by the way. She's not that hard. I have a really good team, though. So, it's hard to say. And her, her Alkazam is a menace. Um, Where do you fall on the question of whether Caterpie was supposed to become Better Moth or not? I'm a big fan of that theory, genuinely. And not just because you just dropped $100. Um, so, for anyone who doesn't know the whole Caterpie Venomoth theory... Um, a lot of the features that Caterpie has are shared with Venonat. So Venonat, Caterpie, Venomoth, right? Um you, you know what I'm you know what I'm saying here. Basically people think that they swapped the evolutions. So Venonat should evolve into Butterfree and Caterpie should evolve into Venomoth. And if you look at the eyes, they have the same eyes. So it's, I don't know, to me, it's a very compelling theory. Um, I don't know if it's been disproven, but it's really weird. Like Caterpie Venonat theory. I feel like I need to look it up. Let me see if I can find this. I'll just, I'll just show the stream. Because it is, it is a good one. Okay, so... Yeah, um... Okay, so, so, so naturally, Caterpie to Metapod to Butterfree, right? Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes, right? Venomoth to Veno, Venonat to Venomoth. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. What people think is it should have been Caterpie, Metapod, Venomoth. Because look at the eyes, right? Look at the eyes, the black pupils. And that Venonat should have evolved into Butterfree. I agree. Like, the eyes, it just, it makes sense. Counter argument, I guess you could say the teeth, but the teeth are kind of the same on both of them. Like Butterfree has little ones too, but like, look at the hands, like, like the Venomoth, Venonat hands and Butterfree hands. I definitely see the argument. The thing with Caterpie is it kind of could have go into either, but it, Venonat looks like it could go into Butterfree. So, yeah. <laughs> um... Dude, thank you for hijacking the, the, the stream, Tricer. Cubone, Maribai, Kangaskhan. Yeah, that's a classic. Or they were just recycling features. It's so valid. It's so valid. Yeah. Um, now, but I don't want to miss... Uh, I've missed a, a few ones. Okay, we're going to Blaine now. Let me let me just get to... Uh, this, <laughs> this stream has just been... Um, <laughs> uh, hijacked. Um, really sorry if discussed, but where are each of the rods? Um, Super Rod remains unchanged because that's just the goat spot for Super Rod. But good is going to Vermilion where you get the old, and then old is going to be in uh, the, the uh, Viridian. So yeah, Brandon. Also good to see you back, man. What's up? Um, also, will all trade Pokemon only be available? Be available in the wild? Not available in the wild. You won't be able to catch a Gengar anywhere. No, you'll have to level it up. Um, 
I guess Machamp and Golem are in Victory Road, just because that's like the appropriately leveled version of that Pokemon. But you won't be able to catch an Alakazam or a Gengar anywhere, because there's just no place that they would it would make sense for them to be there. Um, and then... Uh, the Chroniclers, have you considered making Hyper Beam Dragon type? Dude, I don't understand. Why does everyone want Dragon? You are like the 10th person to ask me that. I really like, I am amazed at how many people have asked that. So here's my thing with this, okay? Dragon, Hyper Beam is so, 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 so tied to being a normal type move, right? And what you're wanting to do, I get it. You want to fix Dragon. It makes sense for Lance. If, if Hyper Beam was a move that never was used on any Pokemon and you weren't losing anything from Hyper Beam, it would make so much sense. But the problem is, okay, now Persian loses its stab Hyper Beam, and Tauros loses its stab Hyper Beam, and, and wait, wh what the heck? Why are dragons so good now? It changes so much about the game for, I would personally argue, very little upside, because dragon doesn't need it, and dragon isn't intend to have a move like that. The game was never made, built like that, and, and Gen 2 wasn't built like that either, and Gen 3 didn't even have a move like Hyper Beam. So there was no intention for that, and I don't think the game is lacking a Dragon Hyper Beam move. And furthermore, it wouldn't really do that much other than make Dragonite better. And I think there's better ways to make Dragonite better. So yeah, it's, it's a very weird thing. I see that so often, but it just it doesn't make sense for what we're trying to do. It, it really doesn't add, it just changes, and I think in a lot of ways would actually detract from people's experience, because it's like, what the fuck, my Tauros is not sending off very good hyper beams now, you know? And that's what Tauros is known for. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. And dude, number 10, thank you. <laughs> good to see you again as well. Uh, it, a nerf to Lance, most Pokemon learn and they can just sweep Lance. That's actually, and, and that's the other thing I think that it's sometimes really easy to forget is you think you're buffing one thing, but in doing that, you may actually be nerfing another thing. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people want uh, Vice Grip, you know? Like, oh my god, that makes so much sense. But it's like, does it need, do we need to do it, you know? Just because you see that nail, do you have to, to hit it? And the less you have to, the better. So, yeah, bug the bug needs a mid game, a mid game move. Does dragon? How many drag? You know, how many dragon types are there? There's one dragon type. Are we gonna totally change the game for one dragon type? You know, and and more importantly, for a type that was meant to not have a lot of, like. It, it, like, not a lot of showing in this game, right? Like, dragon type is meant to be very low-key, very subtle, like, oh, whoa, a dragon move, you know? Yeah, and, th and that, I think actually someone says, um, it would make it neutral to ghost and rock, which is, which is, I, 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 I agree, that's like the one thing it does, but the amount of people that are gonna be, like, playing through their game, and, wait, what the fuck, uh, you know? You, 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 you want to avoid that as much as you can, unless it's an issue that breaks the game. Dragon doesn't need it. Hyper refers to its power. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't refer to dragon, like Hyper Fang, you know? And I'm not saying Hyper means normal, it just means it's strong. The only change to dragon, I would say... I know, a lot of people... Are, I, actually, someone in the chat earlier before this stream started was asking about um, Dragon Rage becoming 60 base power. Listen, if, if enough people hound me about it, I'll I'll just give in, genuinely, because like it doesn't matter. Um, oh, surfing Pikachu, dogs and burgers. Cool. I just had to go in here for the culture. Now the discussion on Dragon makes me think about another theory. Magikarp, Dragonite, Dratini, Dragonair, Gyarados. Thousand percent, dude. Like, what the fuck? How does Dragonair evolve into Dragonite? It's so dumb. And I don't even like that one. Like, I just... 
I just wish, I just wish it could be that, but they made a decision and the rest was history. So we still need one more Pokemon. And I don't really know what to run. Thinking maybe something from the Pokemon Mansion, like a coughing. Uh, love CL so much, I make cartridges for me and my cousins. Hell yeah. I made a post also, Jay, um, about my own cartridge that I have for Crystal Legacy. And um, a lot of people are like, bro, I will buy it. Sell it, I will buy it. And it's like, that's really illegal. Um, but it, the resources are out there. If you want to do that, like, there's so many resources on how to put ROM hacks on cartridges. Um, just don't do anything illegal, obviously. I mean, uh, I can't really stop you, but, but like, you know, it's illegal. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is um, the resources are out there, but I'm not encouraging you to do that. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't talk about it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I think you just got to embrace the power of Google sometimes, man. You know? Grab Muck. Good rock, Muck, too. Muck's pretty good. M Muck and Coughing are good. Gyarados sh share a lot for Magikarp. Maybe they switched evolutions, changed the design to match it. Totally fair. I, I think that one is less so. Um, uh, will Gyarados get Sky Attack? Oh, that would be really strong. I took Sky Attack off Dodrio because it doesn't make sense and it's too strong. Ugh, but does Gyarados get Sky Attack? I don't think. What the fuck, dude? What, <laughs> dude? dude? I'm so, I'm so confused, dude. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're amazing, TriStar. We love you, bro. We love you, TriStar. Dude, you don't have to. I, I I, need you to know that you don't have to. You're doing it, and I respect the hell of it, and I fucking appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, but goddamn. You're, you're, you're a legend, dude. What the hell? Thank you, TriStar. Chat. Let's get this man some love. We're gonna we're gonna do a round two. It's a little delayed because because YouTube is really stupid, but it's it's coming. Okay, just you just gotta just just prepare yourself. Okay, just just get ready. Okay, it's 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 coming and it's gonna be hot. It's a it's a spicy it's a spicy ripper. It's a spicy ripper. We got Brandon. I, I actually think uh, Brandon. I actually think I I missed your your chat. Or maybe I was in the middle of it and I just got floored by this ridiculous, r ridiculous man. I feel like I don't know if I can do it again, but it's such a banger, bro. It's such a banger. This was like this was like my 2016 YouTuber song on the Smith plays. Whoa! I got you, okay? It's a banger, dude. It's a banger. Thank you, TriStar. We love you. You're crazy. You're crazy. Um, Venomoth is my second faker of Pokemon, so I, I subscribe to the mix-up hypothesis. Also, Caterpie closely resembles the Luna Moth Caterpillar. Okay. I mean, I can see it then. Rip Pidgeot. Um, I can see it. TriStar, I just, I feel like I have to talk about your, your favorite Pokemon. Um, we have made it so that the line retains its prior moves. I just want you to know that, okay? So, you can pick up a Metapod, and it'll just know, it'll just know Tackle already. Because it, it, all Metapods came from Caterpie, you know? So it, it has the move. Even if it, even if you just picked up a, a Metapod in Viridian Forest, Okay. Um, Butterfreeze. I don't know if you can catch a Butterfree, but it will have, it will have, uh, 
tackle and string shot. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. We appreciate it. You're a legend. Fuck yeah. Thank you, dude. Um, Critical says, I have a suggestion in question one. Add move names to TM and bag. Or move special depending on typing. Uh, yes, it's it's just Gen 1 classic mechanics. So so no no variations there. Um, I actually kind of got to go back. I, I think I think I need to, uh, to to train some of my, my my teammates that are dying. So we're gonna head back. Um, yeah, if we can add moves to the TM box critical, we will. Um, I just probably gotta ask Craig if if he thinks that's doable. Um, Craig is also also a legend. Um, he's been doing a lot of a lot of work, you know. It's like Craig is the one making the ROM hack. Webra is the one making the content for you to learn about about what the ROMs are actually about. So you need both of them. And I just kind of like the, 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 the wedge piece that kind of just brings all these things together and makes it happen and talks about it. And I guess it's my vision too. Hey, we got lucky. Oh, gifted Weebra. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, I love that. I love that. That's awesome. Very kind. Very kind. Any update on plan release? Uh, prob probably April. The, the, the thing that's really hard about this ROM hack is with Crystal, it's like, oh, there's a problem. All right, we'll fix it. Cool. Everything's working fine. And this, you're like, all right, I'm going to uh, add some items to the marts. Oh, uh, uh, in doing that, there is now a glitch where if you go to Ver Viridian Forest and then go back to Route 1, your game your game crashes. And it's like, why? That, that doesn't make any sense at all. And it's like, yeah, no, welcome to Gen 1. This is just... Uh, things are weirdly tied together and just, just you know you move one thing and the whole everything breaks so it's it's uh hilarious <laughs> oh wow this is a this is a full team um body slam's a good move um any advice um there's some really good youtube tutorials i will say yellow doesn't have a ton of stuff like it's mostly red and red and blue but the pret pret team um there's a discord actually they are uh, really, really helpful. A lot of people just say like they're a, a great group of people. I don't really hang out there because I'm mostly in my own Discord, to be honest. But I hear really great things about them. So the Pret Discord, uh, I think that's what it's called. That's the team that does the disassembly projects, which allow us to do that. Jesus Christ, one second. <laughs> e Marty says, where are we with Gyarados Water Dragon? Uh, never happening. Um, definitely watch the video that announces the ROM hack um it will hopefully explain the situation of like why that would never happen I've, I, it's just something I've explained a lot um so I don't want to drone on about something I've talked to a whole bunch but the video yellow is broken so I'm, I'm making a better ROM hack uh, go watch that and then it will it will clear up why we can't why we don't want to do that um as for razor wind flying doesn't need a move which is why I haven't changed that I think I think there's a, a case for making Grazer Wind better, um, but it, I'm not gonna make it flying, because flying has good moves. Um, GG Lapras, I can't even be mad at you about that. Um, so yeah, hope that makes sense. We've got a 50 bomb, a a a Jesus Christ, guys, this stream is ridiculous, dude. Um, oh my God, thank you. Um, Do Dodo. <laughs> Hey, dude, this song is such a banger, too. Came in a little quicker, too, which is nice. <laughs> uh, my fondest memory of Pokemon Yellow is being a child running to my dad in tears and sobbing because Jesse and James kept defeating me. <laughs> I was using my original strat of only using my starter except Pikachu. Except Pikachu doesn't evolve or get stronger. Yeah, I think... I never played Yellow. Um, growing up, I was a red kid. Um, so I never had that experience. Um, but I'm very sorry for your childhood trauma. 
Um, chat, maybe we could make it up to Dodo Gamarama. Oh, that's a fun name to say. songs I like. What can I say? Um, Gengar Carry. Anyway, Dodo Gama Rama, Dodo Gama Rama, thank you so much. Um, chat, chat, I need to see the love right now for Dodo Gama Rama. God damn, that's a fun name to say. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Like, it's, I'm very weird at handling big donos. I've always been this way. It, it, it has never not been this way. Um, the support is always very appreciated, um, especially on a channel that's like definitely uh, it's, it's a more passion driven project, we'll say, you know, so it's the support is, is, is very much appreciated. You know, I left kind of left my Minecraft channel, at least I've really put it on the back burner to to focus on this. So the support is always is very, very appreciated. Really. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyway, that's me being awkward. And, and yeah, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, we threw in two Dragonair trainers here. Um, also, thank you, everyone, for dropping dropping the hearts. Um, also, it said, is that Claire? I just wanted to throw in, like, a subtle, like, is it Claire? Is it not Claire? You know? It's it it's not, because um, it's a guy. But, um, yeah. Bro, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> Tristar. I mean, you've been you were just to Africa, so I assume I, I I I must require that you can afford it. Also, what the fuck Gengar is so good. It just it just took that. Like it took a psychic from Slowbro at like half health. Like I'm not sure if I'm more amazed at Gengar or you right now. But dude literally just dropped fifty dollars to say can Caterpie learn cut? Listen, I'm a coward, all right? I will cave, okay, when you throw $300. And, um, yeah, Caterpie is going to be able to learn cut. And and I just, I just need to say, I just need to say, I'm not setting a precedent here. You can't donate to do your thing. But the, the dedication I have seen from this man about Caterpie and cut... There is a point where you just have to, to accept that, yes, I, I think we'll make it so that Caterpie can learn cut. I don't think it'll break the game because it learns leech life, which is healing and around the same powder. It's going to be just Caterpie. I don't think the other two learn it naturally. If they do, then great. But I, I will make it so that Caterpie learns cut. And RIP to Marowak. God damn it, we're going again. We're going again, chat. We're going again. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ram, hog, dogs. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat. You name it. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ram, hog, dog. Beans, greens, potatoes, Oh god, I'm gonna get I'm gonna chicken, lose to this guy because I wasn't paying attention. Beans, potatoes, oh, tomatoes, Jesus. lamb, ram, um. hog, dog. Oh god, okay. Do I have any revives? I do. I do have one. We're going again. We're going again. More hearts, more hearts, chat. I have, I have, I have to see it from you guys for this man. Show me, show me, show me the hearts, chat. How the hell did I get through here? I'm so lost right now. Listen, listen, Tristar. 
Caterpie will learn cut. It's the one time I'll do it because you have been so consistent. I'm lost, though. <laughs> How, like... <laughs> Can you not get through here in Gen 1? You you can't? Bro, I'm such a Gen 2 fanboy that I didn't know that. Wow. I cannot believe that. I've never gone to Cinnabar from Fuchsia before, I guess, in Gen 1. You have to go from south of Palace. Or you go through the cave. Okay. 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 Yeah, Skull Bash probably needs some work too. I know you could go through the cave, but you don't have to go through the cave. Well, there isn't really a cave in Gen 2. I guess that's why. Yeah, I just didn't understand that there was the only way through was a cave. Anyway, we're we're back on our adventure. Try start. I just have to say one one more time, thank you, bro. Yeah, you're crazy. I hope Africa was good. Whew. I'm 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 heated up now, man. Holy. Whew. So some of these trainers are weaker, but I think they get stronger as you go through it. This is obviously like not a super strong trainer, but I do think they get stronger. Or maybe I just missed this one person. Let's let me make sure. I might have just missed this guy in in the coding. Um What does this guy have? Hmm. All right, let's let's see what we got here. Oh, chat. Does anyone know this guy? This is the six Magikarp guy. And so this is a this is a fake out. Cause I made it I, I originally made it like it was six Magikarp. I was like, you start with the Magikarp and then it's just five Gyarados. <laughs> Which is hard. Like if if these were at a good level and you didn't have an electric move, like that's a really hard team. Um. Oh, Slifer. Um. Yeah, that's a really good. That's a really good and observant thing. You're 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 using your noggin. Um. You're doing some interpolation. That's not actually the the term, but you're doing some extrapolation, I guess. Um. Yeah. After watching the stream, I don't think Gengar is going to make it into Emerald Legacy. Gengar is too much of a menace. You got it. If we put if we put Ghastly in Hoenn. It's just going to outclass the other ghosts, and it won't give them a chance to shine. So, we are going to... Yes. Okay, so, if anyone wants to let me know what rope this is... Because this is more the levels we want. Um, people... Someone were saying, like, why are they stronger than you? Um, that's kind of just a feature of Gen 1 is your the, the game is kind of meant to be played so that you slowly slip behind uh, trainers. Um, this also keeps the fights interesting for, for one. Um, it's a really good source of XP. Uh, so we basically just buffed all the trainers so that you will you they will help you keep up to the level of the of the the, the main people. Um, yeah. Hope you're doing well. Z hey, what's up, Fox? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well, Zest God. Also, hope your year's going well. Honestly, I'm off to a pretty good, pretty good start this year. Um, generally speaking, things have been going just very well in my life. I feel like post-COVID, I've I've been living in another world, and it's it's been generally quite good. Like, like actually happy. COVID was not good. Quit my YouTube channel because I was just very unhappy. And then that just made things even worse because I had no purpose. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a good year, man. It's good to see you, dude. I hope you're doing well. That's a uh, fox is a as a zombies as a old zombies viewer. So route twenty one. 
I don't know if we've decided on ghost uh, on on dragon special. I don't know if that's in, if that's in stone yet. The best life merch. Hey, see, like, truly, truly a real one. Wow, Charizard just ate that. Second time last month. No fun. Charizard slam. Charizard does get slam. Yeah, forty-eight. No, I mean, Gagger's just going to be a good Pokemon, but we've done everything we can. <laughs> I mean, I also gave a Thunderbolt, to be fair. I, you know? Like, Jolteon would be better using Thunderbolt better to, you know. It's not set in stone. I don't know. I don't... I don't think we've set that in stone yet, to be honest. Um... I don't know. God. I hate Dragon-type. Everyone only cares about Dragon-type. Dragon type, just, here's the thing you gotta remember. Dragon type doesn't matter in Gen 1. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change your game, you know? It's like, I'm just so sick of dragon type, man. <laughs> uh, Shake Silver, what's up, what's up? Good to see you. Uh, says, since Gen 3 ghosts have higher attack, keeping ghosts physical, yeah. Um, having this, oh, stronger Shadow Ball. Yeah, I mean, we're probably gonna put, because the other three, evos are uh like trade evos are in it we were talking about putting it like in victory road maybe um again i just want the good the other ghosts to shine i i just don't even want i don't even want you to be able to use ghastly for most of your run because it's the best pokemon in the first two games like i think just let the cool ghosts in gen one shine you know um so yeah that's where i line up Oh, hey! I recently played Crystal Legacy for the first time and had a blast. Really felt like the Pokemon games my rose-tinted glasses remembered them being yes. like. Just wanted to thank you and the team for making it and future. Oh! 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 And future Legacy games that were you're so close, voice to chat. You were so close. But thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think you got it. You got you got the goal of it, and uh, I'm 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 happy it was able to hit as as you were hoping. Um, so thank you, thank you for the thank you for the dono. Um, that's the if you do want to, you got if 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 like our man uh tomato, uh if you do want to use the uh T man two probably T man two, uh if you do want to use that feature, um just. It's the donation button down below, not super chat. If you want to have it voice to chat and not um, not appear as a super chat on the screen. Oh, level thirty-seven, Ratata. Ratata. Anyway, thanks a lot. Appreciate the dono. You're the first. The first dono. Of the night. The rebalance super chat? What do you mean, Corey? Oh, Pidgeotto's got a spicy matchup for this one. Oh, show off move relearning. It might be in this version. I'll check. Yeah, I like the video as uh, as Jason says. I, I love that I intentionally gave this guy a Charmeleon just because I didn't want to show off Charizard. <laughs> Gotta keep Charizard rare. All right, as someone asked, I think uh, I think that was Arrow. Let me check. Let me check. Um, is it this guy? I don't think so. So we've got our we've got our move relearner. It may or may not be in this game yet. I don't know. Um. Look. Oh right, it's just three trades in here. Hmm. Bringing my super magical stick to the fight, people with other magical items, but you're limited to only picking sticks. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Thirty, thirty-five. This is my favorite one. This is... Oh, 
Oh. Cool. Okay, so, uh... Let's do Marowak. So, yeah, there's there's just a look. That's that's how it works. Um... So you can reteach it a move, basically. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a great feature. Looks great. Hell yeah. Uh, I wouldn't recommend playing this on VBA. I'm uh, d don't play on VBA. Do do MGBA. That's that's the one you want. There is a move relearner in Crystal Legacy. Yes, yes, there is, and you can find it in Blackthorn City. Yeah, it gets attention because of rarity. Folks were simply disappointed there were so few dragons and kind of want a ret retroactive game with more dragon stuff, which isn't the point of Legacy. Exactly. It's like, that wasn't the intention of them, you know? Guiana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Dude, I gotta say, the way they handled Legendaries in Gen 1 is sick. Like, even to this day, man, it just... It's, it's not in your face... I think that, and that's what makes it feel so special, is like, it's just kind of there, and it's like, if you want to, if you want to, uh, maybe there's something going on here, and then it, it makes it feel like a legendary, but in all the new Pokemon games, it's such a classic complaint, and I, I, I see the value in the way they do it too, it's like, the entire game is just building, like, like, Sword is like, whoa, there was like a, a guy with a sword and a guy with a shield, I wonder what that could be about. And then it's like, ah, uh, yes, the, you know, the, you get to catch exactly that. And it's just like, it's kind of lame. It's kind of lame. Do I have an ultra ball? I have a master ball. I guess we're not catching muck. It's not meant to be. Um, What should our last Pokemon be? Should we, should we catch like an Articuno or something crazy? Yeah, Articuno hinted with the binoculars. It's very, it's very subtle, you know? Um, if you happen to catch a Moltres in Victory Road, that's like the one you're most likely to run into. It's like, yo, Moltres, huh? Are there two more of these? It's cool. Magmar, what up? Big level 45 Magmar, that's a spicy boy right there. Yeah. Master Ball Muck, obviously. I, I mean, I would. Uh, I've done stupider Master Balls. Anyway, um, hello guys, I'm building this ROM hack and I don't know my way around here. Um, I really don't know my way around here. Where am I going? Like genuinely, where the hell? Zapdos. Yeah, Zapdos is pretty fun, huh? Am I going this way? Oh, that's right, I have to press the switches. Yes, that's the whole thing we're doing here. Who wouldn't press it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it's been a while since I've been here. I haven't, I haven't really been living in this part of the the game. I've been very early game focused. Um, okay, still went the wrong way. It's fine. What's up, game lizard? I just feel really silly right now because I don't know where I'm going. It's like an idiot. What? What is up here? There's nothing up here. Oh, he wants to fight. Articuno. And today I found out Foggy. Let's go. My man just got educated. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, dude. Slowbro or Electabuzz? Can I swap? Ha. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, Marowak's really uh, strong. It's just a guy and an item. Oh, wait. Pidgeot is trying to learn Sky Attack. 45, let's go. Um. Oh, I guess it has to be Wing Attack. But it's kind of annoying. Yeah, Marowak be getting bodied. I mean, he's just a really defensively bulky. 
Okay, there is an item. I see. Max potion. Nice. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna get through here eventually. <laughs> We're gonna make it through here, okay? Don't you... <laughs> Don't you worry, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm a Pokemon expert. Oh yeah, Jinx is going to be returning to the trade. But I think we're going to probably actually put Jinx's trade in, like, Saffron. Because re Jinx is really good. And, and getting it too early is, is too good. God damn it, why didn't I? Okay, you know what, chat? I love you, so we're escape roping out of here. And we're buying some Max Repels. Because goddamn, I'm not having a fun time in the mansion right now. I'll tell you that for free. Whew, hit me with that Repel. Oh yeah, Sky Attack. Same as Crystal Legacy. I think, I think generally, unless circumstantially it couldn't have been changed, you can assume things are changed like in Crystal Legacy. Like, we're really trying to have a lot of carryover between the games. Um, because I just think it adds for cohesion within the series. There's cases where you can't, but yeah. What's your thoughts on Charizard learning Seismic Toss? Um, it's definitely not a learn set move. It doesn't really fit it. Um, I don't know. Can it, can it, can it learn it? Um... Dude, where the hell am I going? Like, I do not. <laughs> is it is it this? Yes. Okay. Sick. Um, yeah. I mean, if if it's a, if it's a learn set already, like I, I think it's it, it's a TM. It it just doesn't really fit the bill for anything else. You know. It it yeah. <sighs> It's this one. Because I always fake you out with that other option. Right? I did this right? Yeah, you're dead. Oh, you guys want to see Pidgeot Sky Attack? Oh! Fire Blast for flying types. Yeah, TM. Makes sense. So weird. <laughs> Just got absolutely trolled. Okay. Now we're cooking. Huge Gen 1 guy, clearly. Inspiring tons of confidence. <laughs> Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Like, it's just so cool. Did you know that outside of Megas and, like, Dynamaxing, Mewtwo in Gen 1 has the highest base stat of any Pokemon in history. It's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Classic Gaming? I appreciate that. Oh, guy died off a of recoil. Hit me so hard he fainted. All right, let's let's hit it with a sky attack. I think Pidgeot's holding up pretty well. Like, it, it's it's got strong moves. It's, it's a little frail, but, like, it kind of needs to be frail. Because, like, it's, like, near one-shotting. Arceus is higher. That is not correct, Joe. You're actually wrong. Um, Gen 1 Mewtwo has higher base stats than Arceus. When you modernize its stats to have two specials. Because its special attack is 154. And its special defense is not 90. It's 154. So if you do 680 plus 64, that gives you a base stat total of 734? 
744? 744. <laughs> yeah, it's really strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy, right? Like, you're like, wait, what the f And And this is the crazy thing is like, that with no power creep and no weaknesses. It's absurd. I feel like I should make a short on just the absurdity of Gen 1 Mewtwo. It's so good, but it's like you don't you don't even realize how good it is. Um Dodo Gama Rama. Hello, welcome back. It helps you if it helps you feel better, this is how nine-year-old me got through the mansion. Yeah, dude, I am like You idiot! Oh my god, that wow was so perfect. <laughs> Anyway, did I not get XP for that? I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, um, the topic may have been lost. Anyway, um, what was I? Uh, it's almost like I lost my train of thought. Damn, that's crazy. I never do that. What the hell? TM22. All right, trivia question, chat. What is TM22? And Mewtwo gets amnesia, dude. What the hell? It's it's so stupid how good it is. No weaknesses outside of, like, Jolteon Pin Missile. Oh, yeah, if you play Ubers, Gen 1 Ubers. I don't even, like, that's absurd. All right, I gotta... Oh, God, I'm trapped. This is a nightmare. Okay, so I gotta go back over here. And I gotta hit this switch. It's really not a bad dungeon, I'm just stupid. Um, oh god, I love max repels. I love that feature. It's so good. Mewtwo special can actually... Oh, Enderful View Amnesia more than twice. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. Very cool. It's Sunblast. Oh, it's Solar Beam. Nice, thanks, chat. Just what I needed in time for this this gym. Thanks, guys. Uh, should we teach Blizzard to someone? I don't know. I kind of want to go catch a bird. Like after that horrible performance, I probably shouldn't. I don't need a bird though. I have I have two flying types already on my team. That would be a bad idea. And like I like electric type user like. Gengar's filling that role pretty good. I, I'm i almost... Like, I kind of want to go, like, grab a Jinx. You know? I feel like Jinx would actually fill out the team nice. Like, Psychic and Ice is, would be, would be kind of spicy. TM, dodge. Slowbro? I think we can catch a Slowbro here, too. Sky attack. Sky attack. That was sick. 15% chance to miss, by the way. Frieza and Beerus equals Mewtwo. Blastoise, no Blizzard. I mean, that's the other option. That is the other option. Aerodactyl. I know Aerodactyl's good. Woo! Arch. Archimagre. Arch. Uh, Archimagris. S Why are you blocking it? Sancti. Got it. Got it. Crystal Legacy was outstanding. We're really looking forward to uh, to this love letter to yellow. You're doing Lord's work. Whoa, man. My man's getting religious, truly. Uh, committed to it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, man, just trying to... Really just trying to make the ROM that I want. You know? Oh, you son of a bitch. How dare you. Anyway. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Um, let's get some hearts. Let's get some hearts. I'm not seeing any hearts for Ar Arch Archimagoras. I must see them now. Bring them, chat. Go catch Tauros. Ugh, that'd be a lot of work, too. So I needed that because I don't have um I don't have any balls right now. 
And uh, I'm just kind of playing it off as though I knew that, but I didn't know that that was there. That was just pure luck. There it is. I'll stream like Spike. Yeah, let's get some likes going in the chat. All right. Let's get some likes going. Can I? Do I know where Articuno is? No. No, I don't. Woo! Oh, that's a sad sprite. Thank you one more time. All right, let's drop down. Okay. Maybe I'll just catch an Articuno. Ah, but there's Jinx right there. But it died. Ugh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gen, Gen one. Gen one. Gen one. Tauros is really good. Uh, I had my chance to catch Tauros. Is he trying to solve the Articuno puzzle? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I am. Is it hard? <laughs> My scrub? Yes. My ex put them in her purse. Ah, the old coin purse. That was kind of giving me a Kadabra Sprite vibe, but all right. Then go up one set of ladders. That ladder right there. I'm just gonna save right here. I didn't like that, I'm gonna reset. Yeah, that really was a cadaver sound, wasn't it? That was that was weird. Don't question it though. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think I feel like I, this is where I was before, right? So, yeah, I mean, I guess we only need one more boulder, right? Um, I never, I, I, I don't know if I've ever caught an Articuno before, guys. Like, I'm truly not a Gen 1 aficionado. I'm not, I'm, it's, it's not like Gen 2 for me. Uh, yeah, you can catch a, a you can now catch Dratini near Bill. Yeah. With a, with a, uh, with a, I'm just doing the same thing over and over. Um, can't even, what's going on? Huh. Sorry guys, I'm just really bad at video games. Hmm. Don't jinx your chances. Up one. Hmm. But yeah, you can catch you can catch a Dratini at Bill's Pond now. With a super rod. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna put our uh we're gonna put our repels back on here, guys. This is fun for me because I've never done it before. All right, I'm just going to stand here and let chat tell me. Brendan, thank you again for the dono, man. Always appreciate it. Um, hello, Dan. With puzzles that really test your dog. It. Yeah, my dog gets being tested. No Dragonite near Bill, but, but Dratini. I will check with you. Gengar will be in Emerald Legacy, but in Victory Road, that ghost and ghost will stay physical. Um, nothing is, nothing is confirmed, but possibly, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I love that my, my, like, people are, like, my viewership is going up right now. And I'm just struggling in a cave. <laughs> Hi, people joining. We are trying to catch Articuno, and now I'm outside. 
Well, that's not the right way. But we're now we're over here in this cave. So that's good, right? Got stuck in here as a kid. Yeah, it just... Hmm. What if I drop into this side? Let's see what happens. Oh, you son of a bitch. No. Restart. You reset the first four boulder. Oh, I'm gonna shoot myself. I'll be lucky to find it. Oh, it's a slowpoke. Um, Seafoam being blue. I agree. I totally agree. I don't know what this brown is. Seafoam should be blue. I need to keep going up. That's what I'm learning. You gotta go up in this cave. It doesn't make sense, but you don't wanna go this way. Dude, I'm gonna learn Seafoam Cave tonight though. <gasps> This is the other boulder. Okay. Okay, this is the other boulder. So now we just have to get back to that other boulder. Why are we in Matt Moon? Oh wait, it's, yeah. And isn't it nice that you can just do that? You don't have to go into your bag to activate strength every single floor. And me over here just waiting for the Blaine fight. Yeah, me out here going, getting my ice type for, for Blaine. All right, so we're going to do this. And then... Yes! That is a fat dab right there. Oh, that's, um, Slowpoke. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for the 8 million people to play this game and be like, oh, it's so bad. They spent 8,000 hours on it, but when I use st activate strength, it gives me the wrong sound. 1 out of 10, very lazy. My immersion was broken. Huh. Kingler. I don't know, guys. Oh! Dude, that's actually, okay. I was so annoyed, but that is so sick. You stop the current from pushing you. Holy shit, I just feel like Pokemon games don't usually impress me and I'm so impressed right now. That's so cool. Wow. Actually, it's, it's okay. We're still good. Push it up. And then, boop. And then, boop. Um, Brendan, there's definitely some more 1%s. I can't think off the top of my head. A lot of them are just like the, the, the rare Pokemon, but like five levels higher than normal. Um, Smith out here living like a five-year-old, truly. Yeah, I can't think of any other... Any other like really cool twenty percent or one percent? You don't want to add too many. Oh, that is so sick, dude! Oh my god, I'm honestly so satisfied. Oh, one other thing is um, overworld sprites for someone emailed me. Actually, they recommended this. I thought it was a really good idea. Um, overworld sprites for. Burb. Okay, so... Hmm. I think Blastoise is the, 
the one we want. Oh yeah, maybe I'm gonna reset till we get a shiny. Yeah. Gaiao. Did pretty cool as a kid. You're like, what did I just find? Burb. Burb. Bird, bird, bird is the word. Burb. Yeah, this is a shiny too. Bro, I got a shot here at Akura, let's go! Yeah, damaging doesn't do much. This game doesn't really work. Peck, nice. Ah yes, the legendary bird and its vast array of rare moves. All right, guys, um... Master Ball. Death. Yeah. That is a one spicy Dabberino. Okay. Uh, well done, everybody. Can't believe he used it on his on his on Articuno. Mewtwo has a wild. That's about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. No, it was a shiny, so like, definitely, I think that was the play. Um, I just, you know, we didn't want to risk it using like self destruct or something or fly or fleeing. That moment when I'm taller than Articuno. No, dabs are in Pokemon games now. What kind of ROM hack are you cooking? A uh, dabalicious one, clearly. Um, we got the burp, dude. Let's go. Ice beam, peck, agility, drill peck. Um, nice. More flying moves. Polyworld dabs in one animation. Dude, this game didn't have an animation of Poliwag dabbing. One out of ten. Oh. Oh, there's your Caterpie, uh, Caterpie question. Um, dude, that question always threw me off. It says, "Does Caterpie evolve into Butterfree?" And I, say, I always say, "No, it evolves into Metapod." What kind of question is that? It doesn't. Like, it logically, like, it just doesn't. Like, they're, like... Like, from a, like, like philosophic logic standpoint, Caterpie does not evolve into Butterfree. It does not. Metapod evolves into Butterfree. Oh, Caterpie evolves into Venomon. Should have saved Bubble Beam. Oh. Way to make me feel like a... Dingus era, but you're right. Caterpillar and cut. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so funny. <laughs> Alright, well, Marowak, you're kind of trash, man. Oops, this isn't even... This isn't the Poco Center. Checkmate, Pokotheists. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. Articuno has drill pack now. That is a new feature. Yeah. Thank you for noticing that. Purchasable TMs will be all over the game, but the good ones will be uh, E4 and post game. Yeah, it's really tough because I just got so many questions. I feel like things are just going to be slowly rolling out and you'll learn, you know, you'll learn these things too. But I guess if you watch all these streams, you'll definitely pick up a lot of information on the game. Join the Discord though. Um, really recommend joining the Discord because it'll give you a ton of info. It's tough. Um, Marowak is just not great. That man's fallen off a little bit. The other thing, I should probably, like, stack my team up now that I know what I'm going to run. Uh, like, Rock Slide. Like, who? No one learns Rock Slide. That's crazy. Uh, Thunder Wave. No one learns Thunder Wave. What about Rest? Bro, a little Articuno Toxic Rest? Bro. I know my, I know my competitive learn sets. Um, Articuno double team. What's that? Psychic? Do we want to make Gengar, like, disgusting? Because we could do that. Um, should, should Charizard learn Earthquake? Or Blastoise? I guess Charizard, right? Because that would give him coverage. Yeah, ground types take neutral to fire, so they're a risk against blank. Yeah, it just does, like, you know, like a golem would really be nice here. Um, we could, you know, we could replace Dig. Swords Dance Charizard. And Zard is faster. That's a great point. All right, let's do it. Nice, Charizard. You're a king now. All right, what else we got? Razor winds. Lol. Toxic. We could do that strategy. It's, it's not bad. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary. Body slam. Body slam is always good. Um, probably just give it to Marowak. Blastoise already has it. Charizard doesn't need it. Um, like, I don't really like Thrash, so let's do that. Um, even though I'm not going to use Headbutt either, it's just in the first slot, so. Horn Drill, no. Takedown, no. Ice Beam. Marowak learns Ice Beam? Weird, man. So, Blastoise already has it. Articuno already has it. Blizzard. Uh, actually, Articuno doesn't get Blizzard for a little bit. Um, let's give let's give Articuno. Uh, I might. Okay, just so you know. Charizard can learn Seismic Toss um, for the anime. Mega Drain. Okay, I want to do something for Gengar. I want to run, a, 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 like, probably the most disgusting. I don't even know if it's the most disgusting, but it's really good. Um, like, Thunderbolt, Mega Drain, Nightshade, and Psychic. We have a crazy team, man. This is gross. <laughs> um, hey, what's up, Olka? Off work, I see. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. That is dabalicious. Congratulations, Chris. All righty. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just give them to Gengar. Oh, oh, and Sword Stance. I think I might have not picked up Sword Stance. I don't think I have it. It's a pretty early TM, and I'm not seeing it. 
Yeah, okay. No Porygon. Oh, um... But a client canceled, so no therapy for them, but Pokemon therapy for me. Oh, okay, are you... What kind of therapy do you do? Oh, nice job, Marowak. You need that. Yeah, my boy be struggling pretty hard through this. TM3, okay. Yeah, that's... Hmm. That's tricky. I have to play with Golem. Dude, Golem is so good in Gen 2. The game just opens up for that man. Oh. Keep just I just wanna fight them. <laughs> Hey, what's up, D&D? In red, blue, yellow, Marowak is O-class by Sand Slash in every stat. Would you consider buffing it special to 80 to allow it to use its impressive special move pool as a niche? I think that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, is it every stat? Like, I think it has higher defense, maybe, right? But yeah, I, I, I think that's a pretty good idea. Like, generally, like, it's those kind of ideas we like, where it's like, okay, what purpose does this Pokemon serve? Oh, it's later, and it's no better than Sand Slash. Like, yeah, why would you ever use that? So those are cases where it's like it's nice to like give it something, uh, like Charizard and Earthquake. Um, I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write that down. I like that a lot. Also, I did not know it learned uh, Ice Beam, which is weird because like you accept that Nidoking can use Ice Beam. <laughs> um, <laughs> thoughts on changing trivia questions to be harder? It would be fun, actually. Uh, probably not a top priority, but I think, you know, leave it in the back pocket, I think. Um, actually, let's, let's, let's give Blastoise the experience he needs for this gym. Yeah, I, I think it would be fun to make make them harder though. No, no king is a king. Oh, I, you gotta leave tomb, Tombstoner though for all my zombies, homies. Ooh, make the quizzes Gen One jank trivia. That's actually I like that. Like, in the original Gen 1, you know? That'd be kind of cool. That would be actually really cool. Golem gets Fire Blast, so should Onyx. Here's the thing. Golem shouldn't get Fire Blast. And it doesn't want Fire Blast either. Its special is terrible. Ugh, I thought TM28 was Tombstoner. I'm such an idiot. Alrighty, nice job, Blastus. Blastus, you know? The Gen 1 starter, Blastus? He's a tortoise. His name's Blastus. <laughs> Classic Tombstoner trap, yep. Classic Tombstoner. Chat, let's get ready to rumble. All right, we're just gonna, you know, listen. You hear that? Killers in the jungle. All right, killers in the jungle. You feel that rumble? We're getting ready to rumble. Killers in the jungle. We got any Fredigan fans here in the chat? Any Fredigan fans? S tier performer, dude. S tier. I keep a list of my S tier performers. S tier acts, that's like, 
you just you'll ne you, like amazing and you will never get from anyone else and that that's a that's a fret again right there all righty we're gonna start this off with who's who's got the fast who's got the most speed 112 I think it's gonna be him I mean, I guess it's going to be Gengar, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's Gengar. So, leading Rapidash is a, tra is a Fire Spin Trapper. Yeah, the floor is bad. Like, that's bad? That's like... Uh... Yeah, this is Blaine's normal sprite. It's pretty awful, huh? pretty good. I actually, actually, I respect him a lot more than I, I thought I was going to. When we built the team, I was like, okay. I mean, you know, Rapidash isn't going to win with this strategy, but overworked sprite dog shit. Battle sprite is bad. Oh, it's so bad, dude. Gen 2, Blaine looks sick. I'll say it with my chest. Yeah, Arrow did Arrow did a very good job with this team chat. Thank Arrow for this one. He put a lot of work into this plane fight. <laughs> so, you know, like it did something. It also, yeah, it is a really good sprite. I really do like this. Ooh, if it would use agility then fire spin. That, that, that is a good set. All right, we got Charizard out next. Um, are we gonna just, are we just gonna stomp with Gengar? Could you please kill Gengar? Ugh. Ugh, Gengar's too good, man. Gengar's too good. I don't know how to fix Gengar. <laughs> Maybe Nightshade shouldn't be 80 base power. Maybe we make it like 75. Okay, nice. Nice Nine Tails. To be fair, Blaine is putting up more of a fight t to Gengar than, I mean, like, why are you using Confuse Ray three times in a row? You know, better AI, I, like, I'm happy that happened, but, like, better AI wouldn't do that. So that's, you know, the case. Now, Marowak is about to get dusted. Oh, shit, the solar beam. The solar beam. Let's go, Marowak, my man. Thank you. Yes, Kevin. I really want to give all gym leaders their overworld sprites. They're a unique overworld sprite. That That is a plan. Absolutely. So much better than Flint's in Gen 4. Yeah. Oh, goes for the dig. All right. Uh, we'll take it. Hmm. Is Gengar allowed to be OP? Uh, it's not. <laughs> also, have you used Gengar in Gen 2? <laughs> Here's the thing. Don't look at anything of this as final, right? This is not the final version. We're, we're playtesting, right? So it's it's like, oh, damn, that's a little OP. How do we fix that? Actually, Mangorak's doing really good. Yeah, like, the guy's got enough to trip you up. And if you use a Psychic here, he's probably gonna kill me. Nice, Blaine. Nice. Kill me. Do me. Actually, fire... Fl flame... I, also, Flamethrower. I just... I'm so, like, ground types resist, but they don't. Um... Just for the memes, let's bring out the burb. Nice. 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 Kill me. You won't, because it's... Yeah, you won't.
Oh, he missed. Nice try, buddy. Nice try, booby. Anime matchup. Does kind of look like Skarmory. All right, well, it truly is the worst TM, but anyway. That was, uh, like I said, Blaine is never, like, really hard, but he doesn't just, like, get, like, five turns surfed, you know? Um, un I mean, unless you bring, like, a Tentacruel, then he might, but, um, yeah. Oh. <sighs> well, we should probably do Giovanni, or should we call it there? And then the last stream can be Giovanni, Rival, Elite Four. I feel like that's a more climactic finish. Fire Blast got that 30% burn. Yeah, it was real nice. Call it. I'm sleepy. I'm kind of... E4 is going to take the whole stream. Uh, E4 run is about an hour. I'm kind of sleepy too, and I don't know if I'm in the mood to get stomped by a gangster, but let's do it. You spent too much time on puzzles. Yeah. I can't really argue with that. Blizzard is not a 30% chance to freeze. Jesus. Even the 10 is absurd. Is it normally though? Because if it is, that's ridiculous. 90% and 30. Oh my god. Alright, I'm really proud of Marowak here. Even even this, you know, you did a good job, buddy. Um Bring in the victory bring in the, the victory bell sweeper. Yeah, I had him in a gym. Weird. But uh, it's Giovanni. Uh I don't know. He dropped it. Persian sweep. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna run through these these trainers here. Um Yeah, Marowak really doesn't have a whole lot to to stand for. It was thirty percent to freeze in the Japanese. Oh my god. That is so strong, man. The revive is a warning. Honestly? Man, that is kind of hard. That is kind of hard. Like, in your own gym, you're like, yo, I left something there for you. It's a revive, because you're going to need it. <laughs> Honestly, that is pretty hard. I, I actually I respect Giovanni for that. Yeah, there it is. The mighty, the mighty Marowak. Um, nice. I'll use my X attack. To increase the value of my output damage and physical prowess. You friggin' nerd. He really said that. I heard him. That's exactly what he said. What a huge flex. All the fighting types. Yeah, it's an odd gym. It's definitely like a mixed gym, but I think it works. I, I do. I, I think I think this is better than just like a bunch of ground types. You got it. Oh, you dingle bat. Gotta say, Blastoise is a pretty consistent Pokemon. Like, you can kind of just always count on Blastoise. I underrated Blastoise for this round. I was like, ah, I don't really want to use Blastoise. It's so boring. But it's just, it's just like so consistently fine. And it's bulky, so it takes hits. It does surf. Like, it's just a, uh, it's just a, a water type, you know? But it's a good water type. I'm going to ask, are you Canadian? I sure am. Oops. Whoopsie. 
But nice little clean kill for Marowak. Oh, that just that just doesn't go anywhere. Okay, wow. This is a troll gym, dude. I usually just like warp like uh skip this. So it's really funny. Um Yeah, like Blastoise isn't flashy. That's such a good way to put it. Starmie is Starmie's like a rock star, dude. Just wrecking house. But yeah, it's a little different. I don't know. Every Pokemon in this gym feels fine to me. Like, I'm not like, oh, that's weird. I'm like, yeah, that's just Giovanni's gym. It's just got a little bit of everything. It always has. You know? I'm, uh, yeah. Can't really complain. Poison should have been last. Uh, it would be too bad. Poison's just a really bad type. So despite its populace, it's... Poison should have been Gym 2. If I could change something, I'd make Poison Gym 2. I'd make Water Gym 7. And I'd, and I'd move Fire to, like, down. I'd move, I'd, I'd move Poison and Fire down. I'd move Water up. Like, it's just, I don't know, like a shift or something. All right, let's bring in the burp. Yeah. Get him with ya. Get, oh, nice. Nice. Get him with ya, Drill Peck. Oh. All right, we'll just peck. Just peck. Just give him a little kiss. The game the steel type. Bro. It needed it. It, it needed it. Um... I mean, it's not like poison is doing a lot for the sore, but oh, wouldn't that have been so cool? It's just weird that that's like it only. It's just water, you know. It it would have been a very big change in identity, so I get it. But man, that would have been cool, and it would have been so cool. I guess I could have used a uh, psychic here. Oh, nice job. I'm always happy when Gengar gets killed. Ice beam. What should I what should Articuno's learn set be? Should I do it rest toxic or is that stupid? Is that unnecessary? It's probably unnecessary for a playthrough. That's more of a competitive set. Maybe like maybe maybe just give it blizzard sky attack later and it just it just does it just does it just does ice and flying really good I'd like to ask you to change one thing when a button is pressed make make a sound oh really I will I will see what I can do yeah very slow to get KOs exactly not not a playthrough learn set not useful yeah okay let's just let's just give Articuno Blizzard then let's just just accept reality. Oh, that's Fire Blast. Well, who wants Fire Blast? I guess Charizard doesn't, does it? Bro, Marowak learns. Yeah, all right. Let's give let's give that guy some special. I think um, Thunder Wave. That's not Blizzard. That's Blizzard. No, no. Uh, that's Blizzard. No, nope, that's Metronome. That's Blizzard. Oh, I'm gonna get there eventually. Uh, that's Blizzard. Oh, uh, 19 for sure. Nope. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, couldn't be 14. There's no way. Uh, goodbye, Peck. No more kisses from Articuno. The Sedge. All right. Starting with a Diglet. That knows Rock Slide. Chat, are we ready? Giovanni's the man. This guy is a king. This guy is a wizard amongst losers. He's really good. Okay. Yeah, this team slaps. It's 
frail. Nice, Blastoise. The right man for the job. Alrighty. We'll stay in. I don't know if Nidal King is going to be quite so... Quite so, uh... Quick to roll over. And there's the Thunderbolt, ladies and gentlemen. Will it kill? Okay. Blastus putting in work. Nice job, my buddy. Okay. We're just gonna die, so. <laughs> Yeah, let's just accept our death. Uh, this Persian has Hyper Beam, just as a heads up. Uh, massive Menace. Gengar is a pretty hard wall. I'm not, I'm not gonna use Gengar, okay? So, super effective, super effective, super effective, super effective. Super effective against everything except for Gengar. Um, burb it is. Oh, and it, and it outspeeds. Dude, this, 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 I love this Persian, man. It's like, just, oh, damn. Articuno's bulky. It's got that special. Oh, Articuno. Oh, I wish it went for the, the hyper beam. I think hyper beam would do more damage. This is a problem with our AI is it, it just is super effective. So it goes for it. Let's go for the blizzard, Articuno. Nice. Yeah, so it would almost seem as though running a legendary and Gengar, which may as well be a legendary and two starters, makes for a pretty good team. Um, should kill, right? Oh yeah. So that was easier than last time for sure. That was definitely not as hard. I have a really good team, but okay. Hey, what's up, D-Tad? And done. There we go. That's all eight badges. So next stream, we're going to finish this run up. Um, yeah, Pikachu is in the box. We decided to not use Pikachu for this run, and uh, yeah. Guys, this is a crazy stream. Um, I, I gotta say a shout out to, to TriStar and uh, the, the fun name that I don't know how to say, but you know who you are. Bogadoga Rama. <laughs> you have like three good answers on your team. Yeah, exactly, Arrow. Like, honestly, I just have a really good team. Like, Marowak is not good but like everything else is just like Pidgeot is my is my like one of the worst Pokemon on my team and it's great let me get you a new save to show off the new AI yeah I mean if you want to if you want to do that I can I can actually I mean honestly that would be awesome um there's blast toys. I'll just I'll just run through this. This stream is gonna stay up. Um, like stats don't need to be perfect. Oh yeah, there also a new feature that isn't in this version I'm playing. Um, we have a DVs, so you can press a button on the screen and it will it will switch from like attack like 85 to like the DV value, which is pretty cool. So you can actually know how good your Pokemon is. Oh, uh, I don't think I showed. Faster spinning animation. Uh, that's... I don't know how viable that is to do. Matt, if you want to download Crystal, um, there's a big video I uploaded uh, that, that has all that information. So just uh, the big Crystal Legacy announcement video. It's like an hour long. Check that out. 
Yeah, start, start and stat. I can't show DVs. It's not, I don't have that version, but, um, wait, I don't think I do anyway. I'll, I'll check, but I'm pretty sure I don't. No. All right. It's been real. I'll see you guys later. Um, peace out.